So to create a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure, just click on create a resource in this portal. And then here you will see a bunch of options. Under popular Azure services, you will see virtual machine. Just click on create. If you don't see this, just search for virtual machine here and click on virtual machine. And you will see this virtual machine in Microsoft Marketplace. Just click on this and you need to choose a subscription. You can choose the default one here and the plan is virtual machine and just click on create. Here, if you want, you can select an existing resource group and just choose the default resource group. In the region, you can choose any region that you want. I need to choose Switzerland, so I'll scroll down and I'll just select Switzerland North. And yeah, all the fields with this asterisk need to be full, so I'll just write my VM name, golf bot. Now scroll down, you can choose availability options here. It is virtual machine skill set and so on, but I need this to be minimal with uh, very less configuration. So I'll just leave these as default and just change the ones that I want. And in the image, you get to choose a bunch of options. So I'll choose Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and architecture will be x64 for me and the size is i want my server to be 4v cpus and 8 gigs of memory so i'll scroll down and see okay i want 4 cpus and 8 gigs so here only i have this option so what i can do is i can just click on see all sizes so this is the one that i want that is d4 general purpose that is it has 4v cpus and 8 gigs of ram this can be changed later on so once you've found the vm that you want to use just click on this and then click on select and that vm will be shown here now you can scroll down and this is the username that you will use to ssh into this vm so make sure you note this and you can create a new ssh key that you will use during login and after uh, you have logged into the machine, you can change the settings to use username and password. For now, I'll just click on generate new key pair. And this is the key pair name. Okay. And for public inbound ports, by default, only SSH is allowed. And you can add more ports to it as required. So I'll just leave SSH port open for now. You can add HTTPS, HTTP port also by default but I'll just leave the, these as of now and I'll add more ports as I require them later on. Okay, and now just click on next. And OS tick size is 30 GB by default. You can increase this and you can see your estimated monthly cost here. Okay, so if I choose, let's say 128 GB, you'll see the cost changes here and you'll have to pay two to two dollars so what I'll do is I'll just leave the use the default one and if it is required, we can just change them later on. Okay, so, and what is the OS tick type? There's premium, there's SSD. So what I'll do is I'll just do SSD for now because SSD is a bit cheaper and premium is a bit expensive, but it's not much of a difference. So I'll just choose premium and I can just click on review and create now. You can just click on download private key and create resource and your private key will be downloaded. Now make sure you save this somewhere safe because you won't be able to download this again. And this is what you'll have to use to log in. So this is how you create a VM in Azure. If you have any questions, let me know in comments below.